Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jasmine McDonald, and if you're new here, I post ballet and fitness related videos every single Tuesday, Thursday, and now Sunday. And if you're also new here, you may as well hit subscribe. Now, every year I post a stretching routine video, and every year I update you with my latest stretching routine. So I figured what better way to kick off 2024 than this stretching routine that I've been doing for the past few months that's really helped me solidify my goals and really help me work towards those goals. Now, I know a lot of you guys already incorporate stretching and we know stretching is not only important for your dance technique, but it's important for injury prevention. Now, this stretching routine is definitely meant to be used as something after you're already warm. So use this after class, use this maybe after your warm up. do a little bit of like cardio beforehand, but why don't we get started? I have been incorporating these two yoga blocks as of late. So we will be using these as well. First off, let's get started. And this routine won't be a super long routine. I have longer routines. If you're working towards getting your splits, go ahead and check those out in the description box down below. I'll link them. But let's go ahead and get started. Sitting back, blocks can go on the side. Just lift your right knee up and around. And we'll do the same with the left. Just creating the most range of movement within our hips. And like I said, you should already be warm. And let's reverse. So go ahead and do one of my warm ups as well if you're not already warm. Beautiful. Go ahead and lay down and you're going to bring your right knee in. You can turn your head side to side. And as you're driving your right knee in towards your chest, you're keeping your left hamstring down, left hip down. Beautiful. Just relax here for a moment. Beautiful. And let's take our right knee open. You can take your left hand on your left hip to make sure it doesn't open. And go ahead and take your left hand on your right outside of your knee, right hand flat on the floor and pull it all the way across your body. Beautiful. We'll do the same thing. Second side, bring the left knee in. And same thing, take the left knee open, right hand on your right hip, make sure it doesn't open. And then take your right hand on the outside of your left knee and take it all the way across, just to stretch up the back. Beautiful, bring your knee back in, switch legs again, take your right knee in, extend your left leg down, and go ahead and thread your hands underneath your right hamstring. Pull your thigh close to your body and you're going to extend your leg as far as you can until you feel a stretch in your hamstring. If it shakes, totally normal, but try not to let that bottom or that top knee move. You're gonna keep it in place as you extend. And bend. And again for three. And let's do four. And let's do five. And let's do six. And let's do seven. And the last one, eight, you're going to hold that leg and pull it in close. Go ahead, take your right hand on the inside of your right heel, take the leg to the side, T keeping that left hip down and bring it in. Let's switch sides again, take the left knee in, take the hands underneath the left hamstring and you extend and bend and bend and again extend and bend and extend and bend keeping the knee in place and extend and bend again extend and bend and again extend and bend again extend bend and last time you can go ahead Grab the heel and stretch it up. Keeping that left hip down. Don't let that left hip open as you drive the thigh closer. Beautiful, take the left hand on the left heel, pull it to the side and bring it back in. Beautiful, go ahead and take your left leg back, right leg in front in a triangle. Using your blocks, square off your hips. If you don't need the blocks, go ahead and take your hands on the floor, ensuring that your back is staying nice and lengthened. 
Don't allow your back to curve here. Think of belly button to your thigh, almost thinking of tilting your pelvis forward, lifting your tailbone to the sky. Good, let's lift that back heel. And lower. And again, lift the back heel. And lower. Let's do that two more times. Lift the back heel. And lower. Last time, lift the back heel. Keeping the belly button close to the thigh, hips nice and square. Lower. Beautiful. Go ahead and slide that left leg back into a low lunge. Keeping the knees straight. Try to stack the shoulders on top of the hips. Tucking the pelvis under, lowering the hips. Try to really straighten that back knee. And then you can lower it down, untuck the toes. Keeping the hips nice and low. Stack the shoulders on top of the hips. You can also take your hands on your front knee. And then let's stretch the front knee. Option to use the blocks and walk them forward or keep your hands on the floor, totally up to you. Ensuring that your belly button's moving towards your thigh as you go forward. Nice flat back here. Beautiful. Go ahead and bend that front knee once again. Go ahead and bend that back knee. Option to take your right hand towards your left foot. You can keep your left hand on a block or on the floor. Lowering those hips still. And release the left foot. Take the hands on the inside of your right foot. Point the right toe towards the corner and put your left or your elbows down. Lowering your hips. Really relax into the stretch. Let the hips lower. Option to also stay on your hands here or put your elbows in the blocks. Beautiful, take your hands on the inside edge, point the toes forward, tuck the left toes under, lifting the knee without lifting the hips and flip the hips to your center lunge. I like to call this a spider lunge as well because it's kind of like Spider-Man. Keeping both knees open, both toes pointed open. And then flip back to the right side. Beautiful, stretch that front knee once again. And then go ahead and slide forward into a right split. Option to stay here or take your left hand on the outside of your right shin and right hand behind you. Beautiful. Coming out of it, bend your front knee into a pigeon in line with your front of your mat, squaring off your hips. You can stay here if you already feel enough of a stretch or you can walk forward. Go ahead, place your hands on the floor, send both feet back into a downward facing dog, pressing your hands firmly into the floor, lowering the heels, shifting the weight back. And then go ahead and walk your feet closer into a forward fold, hugging the back of your legs. And let's bend the stretch for four. You can widen the feet a little bit if you need. Three, two, and one. Go ahead, take your hands back on the floor. Option to use the blocks here as well, or using the floor. Take your left foot back, and we're going to lift our knee, or our leg rather, into a needle for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one, one, holding it for 10, nine, eight, seven, 
six, five, four, three, two, one. And take a step forward with your left leg, right leg back in a triangle. We'll do the same thing on the second side. Option two again, use the blocks here. Squaring off the hips. Let's lift the back heel and lower. And again, lift the back heel and lower. Lifting the back heel, lower. Last one, lift the back heel and lower. Beautiful, take a lunge with the right leg back, keeping the knee off the floor for now. Try to stack the shoulders on the hips. Tucking the pelvis under, straightening the back knee, and go ahead, lower the knee, lowering the hips as well. Beautiful, go ahead and stretch the front knee, belly button to your thigh, trying to lengthen out the spine, squaring off the hips. Beautiful, bend into the front knee once again. Go ahead and bend the back knee. Take your left hand up and around to grab the right foot. Go ahead, let go of that right foot. Take the hands on the inside edge, extend the back leg, point the left toe to the corner and put the elbows down. Beautiful, walking your hands back up, point the toe forward, tuck the toe under, and flip the hips to your sideways lunge. Keeping both knees open. Good, once again, flip back to your front. And then straighten out your front knee. Go ahead and slide into your left leg split. Once again, option to stay here or take your right hand on the outside of your left shin, left hand back. Beautiful, go ahead and bend that front knee to be in line with your shin and the front of the mat. Option to stay here in your pigeon or walk forward. Beautiful, go ahead and walk back up. Send both feet to your downward facing dog. Lengthening out your spine, you can shift forward and back. And then go ahead and walk your feet towards your hands. Option to use the blocks here once again, or stay with your hands flat on the floor for more of a hamstring stretch, and we lift the right leg up for 10. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, and the last one we're gonna hold for 10. Nine, see if you can balance eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and lower down. This time, facing the front, take both feet nice and open into a full forward fold into your jazz second position. And then walking your body up, point your toes open into one of these grand plie stretches. Beautiful, go ahead and slide into a straddle, nice and easy. 
and try to get your straddle nice and flat. Let's lift our right hand or left hand, I guess for you guys, up and over, try to grab that opposite foot, keep both sit bones down. Beautiful, let's go ahead and bring our nose towards our knee, both sit bones down, both toes facing the ceiling, both knees facing the ceiling. Then walk your hands to the inner corner, try to get your belly button flat on the floor. And then you can walk the hands in the middle. Try to get your belly button to the floor. And we do the same thing to the second side. Reach the opposite hand up and over like you're trying to grab that opposite toe. Keep both sit bones down. And let's go forward, nose towards your knee. And then walk your hands on the inner corner, trying to get your belly button flat to the floor. This is a really good inner thigh stretch. And then last but not least, going into your center, you can roll forward to a middle split. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comments down below what you want to see next. Have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, happy dancing, and until next time, bye now.